Welcome to Electron Online, and now we'll discuss why hyperbolas sometimes will look like this, and sometimes they will look like this. What's the difference? Well, take a look at the general equation. Here we have written x squared divided by y squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1, and here the equation is y squared divided by a squared minus x squared divided by b squared equals 1. So what we've done here is we've interchanged the x and the y over here. So when x comes first, the problem looks like this. When y comes first, the problem looks like this. Notice we did not change the constant a and b. a is the constant that is associated with the vertices. So you can see here that in this case the vertex is defined as the point at minus a0 and at a0. Over here the vertex is defined by 0a and 0 minus c. So the a is always associated with the vertex and that's why here it's underneath the x squared term and there it's underneath the y squared term. Notice that the b, the constant b, is associated with the two points here that determine how wide the parabola opens up. And I'll show in the next video how to actually graph parabolas. But you can see here that the 0b and the 0 minus b, and in this case the minus b 0 and the b and the plus b 0, is located on the other axis that does not touch the actual graph of the parabola. So, and we'll see in just a moment how that aids you in graphing the problem. So anyway, the vertices here is at minus a0, a0, because it's on the x-axis. Here the vertices are on the y-axis, so it's 0a and 0 minus a. The foci can be found. In this case, the foci will be on the x-axis, and so it's minus c0 and c0. And in this case here, you can see that the focus, the foci will be on the y-axis, so it's 0c, 0 minus c. So, Subtle differences here. In both cases, c can be found by writing that c squared equals a squared plus b squared square in both cases. So that's the subtle difference between the two. Just remember that the a is associated with the focus and b is associated with the axis where the parabola does not touch. Same over here. a is associated with the focus, in this case on the y-axis. b is associated with the axis where the, the graph does not touch. And notice that if x goes first, the parabola opens this way. If or probably the hyperbola, the hyperbola opens this way. And if y comes first, the hyperbola opens this way. And as soon as you see that, then the rest becomes easy. So in the next video, we'll show you how to actually graph a hyperbola.